Than 4.3 million Ukrainian children have been displaced by this war. That is more than half the country's entire child population. And the U.S. is now stepping in to give some of them a safe place to start their lives again. Joe Khalil joins us now from the nation's capital. Joe, good morning. The Biden administration has committed to accepting 100,000 Ukrainian refugees. Yeah, Rudabay, that's right. And the news about 100,000 Ukrainian refugees comes, as we know, there have been more than 3 million Ukrainians that have had to flee their homes. But there is a deeper story here. While certainly lawmakers are welcoming Ukrainians with open arms, some are wondering why the U.S. seemingly has closed the door on other refugee populations. The U.S. honoring its commitment. The White House announced Thursday the country will take in 100,000 refugees from Ukraine forced to flee as the Russian war persists. There are certainly uh, kind of examples of where um, the U.S. government has been involved in both a kind of military and humanitarian response. Krish Omara Vignaraja is CEO of the nonprofit Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services. She adds, even before the war in Ukraine, the number of refugees globally was at crisis levels. There are 83 million refugees out there at this moment. That's an unprecedented number. But I hope that this work of welcome doesn't end um, you know, with the Ukrainian response. So the question is, is America open for refugees? And that's the question we as Americans have to answer. Congressman Lou Correa supports taking in Ukrainian refugees, but says the U.S. shouldn't stop there. He and the Congressional Hispanic Caucus have called on the Biden administration to end Title 42, a Trump-era pandemic rule that allows the U.S. to turn away refugees and migrants in the name of public health. Why don't you think the administration has ended Title 42 yet? Um, you got to ask them, but I've signed on the letter saying Title 42 is something that is not consistent with our refugee policy. Republicans, too, have shown support for bringing Ukrainian refugees into the U.S., but Senator Josh Hawley tells News Nation they must go through the proper vetting process. I hope the administration will do that in a more orderly and national security attentive way than they did with the Afghanistan crisis. Now, Ruta Bay, taking in 100,000 refugees all at one time is comparatively a really big number. The U.S. used to take in between 50 and 100,000 every year. Uh, under the Trump administration, uh, as a policy matter, they reduced that number to less than 15. And then during the pandemic, it trickled down to just a few thousand. So taking all of these in at one time is certainly a big commitment. Ruta Bay. And the logistics of it all uh, have to be hashed out as well. Joe, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.